The offshore power source plan for five turbines just off the coast of Atlantic City is fully permitted, and the project has a $47 million grant from the federal government. But at today's Board of Public Utilities meeting, state staffers recommended that the board vote no. Staff believes that the supplemental record provides insufficient evidence for the board to change its prior finding that the project does not demonstrate financial integrity. In short, the state thinks that the project does not have enough funding and it won't benefit New Jersey ratepayers. The board agreed. Offshore Wind Farm denied. Commissioner Holden? Yes. President Morose? Yes. It's not the first time the board shot down the proposal from Fisherman's Energy. They've appealed in court and that's where the company's COO says they'll be on Monday. This thing is not over. This project will get built someday. Gallagher says the offshore wind farm would create 500 jobs and that they've agreed to have every penny needed in the bank 30 days prior to construction. We aren't quite sure what more uh, financial integrity you could, you could produce. The breeze is ripe right off of New Jersey's coastline. It's been given high marks by the Department of Energy with hotbeds of headwinds off the coast of Cape May, Atlantic City, and southern Long Beach Island. But the cost to build and operate this technology is steep compared to traditional power. Offshore wind is second only to solar at $243 per megawatt hour. Compare that to natural gas, which costs 66 bucks to produce. Fisherman's Energy COO swears the turbines won't cost taxpayers a penny, but he does concede that there would be a small increase in energy rates. We figure it to be about a cup of coffee a year to the average rate pair. The Christie administration has said that wind power is too intermittent and costly, but the governor also signed a law back in 2010 specifically to develop offshore wind projects with the catch that all turbine plans pass a test balancing cost against economic benefits for the state. Fisherman's Energy has until June 30th of next year if they want to turn this whole thing around. That's when that federal grant for $47 million is set to expire. And some of that money has already been spent, meaning it would just be a waste. In Trenton, I'm Christy Duffy for NJTV News.